Hello, I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple web scraper to extract links from a web page using Axiom.ai, a no code browser automation tool for Chrome. I'm Alex Barlow, co founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Okay, so I've got Axiom open on screen and I've got a blank web sheet where I want my, I want my web, I'm sorry, a blank Google sheet where I want my links to go. I've got a tab called link. And I've got a page that I want to extract the links from, and that's called a Sales Navigator page you may well be familiar with. I'm going to open up the template here. So I've already got my bot built, what I'll, and this bot is available as a template on our website. And I'm going to take you through it step by step, so you can either build it yourself or configure the template if you've downloaded it and installed it. Before we do that, and it's only going to take a moment, so keep watching because you will learn how to automate the browser. You will learn some valuable skills. Before you that, I just want to show. You, before we do that, I just want to show you the bot in action because this is the part I love. This is the part, as I always say, I never get tired of because it's pretty damn cool. So here's the bot. My hand's waving around, and I'm talking and not concentrating on work. I'm looking at the bot, and it's opened up LinkedIn Sales Nav. And it's scrolling down, highlighting the content that we want to extract. And in a second, it's just going to write it to the Google Sheet. I don't need to do anything. My links are going to be there. And it's as simple as that. You can set the bot up yourself. You can use it to, you don't have to scrape LinkedIn. You can use this on other types of websites, other types of listing pages where you want to extract links from. Okay, so that bot's finished. Let's Take a look at our LinkedIn sheet. It was, if you recall, it was empty a moment ago. And there we go. We've got the 10 example links that I wanted. Now, wasn't that pretty cool? I think so. So now let's go back to Sales Navigator. And let's show you how easy it is because it's all done without code, all in our Chrome extension, axiom.ai. And um, it's all done by adding steps. Just boom, 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 job done. That easy. So. Let me just talk you through the steps. First of all, I added an interact step. Importantly, the interact step has a series of sub steps for automating the browser. Sub steps you can click by adding, clicking the subset button. And um, here's a brief glimpse at them. It features everything from a go to page, click element, enter text, select lists. You can record your key presses. The sub steps are everything you do to automate used to automate your actions in the browser. Okay, so I've used one of those steps. I've just added a get data page. Step, sub step, and um, what I've done then is select my links. Now, selecting links is really easy. Let me just shuffle myself up to the top left corner. You'll see the selector tool come up here and you can change the format of the what you want to select. So if you just want text, if you want HTML or if you want to link, you can also scrape more than one column of data for the purpose of this demo. I only want one column of data and that's links and I've got it set to links. And you can see it's already highlighted my selection. But just in case you are coming fresh to this and you hadn't I'm already highlighted your links, all you do is this. You scroll over the elements to find a link. Now generally I find when extracting links some sort of wrapper div is, is very handy and it may take experimenting with a few different selections. So you find your first wrapper div, I'm gonna go for this one. And wrapper div, I mean, I mean a kind of a div, they're an invisible HTML element that's grouping the content, usually you find links attached to those elements. You can see that's got a link. And now to make a repeating selection, I just do that. And that's my link selected. Now, you may have to reselect a few times to make sure you get the correct links and do a bit of experimentation, but we've made that super, super easy for you with our selector tool. Press complete, and that's my links selected. You can, of course, use custom selectors. We're going to be improving that interface very soon. Look out for a change there. Now, other settings you need to be aware of. If you've got a scrolling page that just auto dynamically scrolls, Axiom should just scroll it. However, if you've got a pager, you may need to select the next button. And that's easy enough, again, using the select tool. Select next, complete, job done. 
Now, when you're testing the bot, you're just setting up. Best to limit the results, just do five or 10 as you've just seen, and then you can just make sure the output is correct. And here I've also set up the missing result weight to one. It just speeds the bot up ever so slightly. And here we can just see a few of the links here to extract in this handy little preview. Okay, so that's pretty much how to set up the scraper. One final step you must remember when um, building a web scraper is, um, and we do highlight this in Axiom as you build, it, it is to add an output step. An output step is where you send the data somewhere to store or to share. And in this case, I've chosen a right to Google Sheet. I've got my sheet name inserted there. I've chosen the tab in the sheet. I've plugged in my data. Now, most of the time, if you build steps in order, the data is just going to automatically connect. You don't need to configure that step, but just in case you do, it's quite easy. You see a preview of the data, you press save. And in this case, I want all the data from the interact step. Next important thing to remember here to ensure that add to existing data is toggled on because otherwise Axiom will overwrite data. And so every time you do, do uh, run the bot, it'll just overwrite the, the links were, that were in there before. You may want that, but I tend to prefer just adding to the data. That's cool. That's done. So that's how to set up a simple scraper to extract links from a web page. Now we've got other tutorials on advanced, more advanced scrapers, a faster scraper for um, extracting links, especially when there's scrolling page and a limited amount of um, items loaded and you just want to do it really quickly. See the links below. I'm going to add them to the bottom of, uh, bottom of the, the website where this template is stored. And um, yeah, we've also got other types of scrapers to extract data from pages. So the next scraper to logically use from this would be to extract um, data from the pages that these links um, point to. So that would be a looping web page um, scraper. And I'll also put a link below in the on the web page, the template page for that as well. Cool. Thank you very much. Enjoy building bots.